Our journey around the world to crown a champion is going to start in a few moments' time. Green flag at the back. Formula One in 2024 begins when the five red lights go out. The new season is underway and it's a good reaction time for Max Verstappen. Little bit of a wiggle when he applied the power for the second part of the start, but he maintains the lead. Charles Leclerc trying to go around the outside. How brave is he feeling? He's not. He's in second place and it's Sergio Perez who finds himself in fourth. George Russell is in third place. The spinner was Lance Stroll in the background for Aston Martin. It's Max Verstappen with the lead. Who will be second? There's damage to one of the Salvers in the background there, falling to the back of the field. I believe it's Valtteri Bottas. Side by side, the two McLarens go. Verstappen, then Leclerc, Russell being harried, and it's Lando Norris who was ahead of his teammate. So that's Hulkenberg, he's cleared, and then they're going to have contact. Oh, that's all on Hulkenberg, isn't it? Just drifted into the back and completely rear-ended Stroll. Great getaway from Valtteri. There you can see Hulkenberg, and I think, does he touch the back of Hulkenberg as well? That is a pass for position. That is Lando Norris getting past Fernando Alonso. Alonso pleasantly surprised yesterday that the green Aston Martin was quick over one lap, but he was worried. This is George Russell trying to go all the way around the outside and get past Charles Leclerc, and he'll do so. What a way to start your season, George Russell, with a fine move. The McLarens have steadily passed Fernando Alonso. Lando did it a while ago. This is Oscar Piastri sneaking up the inside on the previous lap. He draws alongside the Scarlet Ferrari. Leclerc has been driving on his mirrors time and time and time again. And to the inside, car 11 at turn 11, Perez improves. He's up to third place. And this is going to be how Sergio Perez got past. It's going to be a lock up. There it is. He got so close to Russell, actually, Leclerc, but he's kept doing that lock up in these opening laps and he's done it again on lap seven. Lewis Hamilton is in the slipstream of Fernando Alonso. These two had a great battle here last year. There is no battle this year. Hamilton getting past and Alonso's fears about the race pace are proving correct. Two Ferraris about to do battle. Monza all over again. Look at the sparks flying as the teammates go wheel to wheel. To the inside, Carlos Sainz. Charles Leclerc refusing to give it up, but he's got no choice. And that was elbows out brilliance from Carlos Sainz. Sainz has been called in. There is the one move you're allowed to make. Perez knows what's coming, tries the up and under, applies the power, super aggressive stuff, and position gained for Sergio Perez, who moves in to a net second place in the race. Leclerc's also got ahead of Sainz in, in the pit stop phase. That's an interesting call from Ferrari to invert the cars effectively by pitting Leclerc first and giving him the undercut over his teammate. That's a late lunge and a half, my word, from downtown to take the place from Carlos Sainz. He came from another postcode. I love it. I love it. I love to see drivers having the confidence to send it on the brakes. And if you want to win races and you want to win championships, you've got to have that kind of bravery. Oh, another chance. Here we go. Big sparks flying down into turn number one. Carlos Sainz has the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. He's got the bit between his teeth. He's got all the racing cliches that you want. But either way, he is driving in a way at this circuit that we've never seen from him before. It's been the Charles Leclerc show in the past. That is a rocket ship move. Say goodbye to Carlos Sainz because he's going to go and chase the Red Bulls. This is how he was able to take the place. No fight at all from the Alpine, waving him through. It's a sorry state of affairs for, uh, for Alpine, not least qualifying on the back row. And they're not even putting up a fight with an RB. Horrible pit stop for Valtteri Bottas. He's been there for 39 seconds as they tried to get... Wrong tyre. Where have we gone here? Is that the nut being delivered? So that's the nut back to the gun. And this is game over no matter what happens. So pit stops, this is one of greater consequence in the Grand Prix. George Russell coming in nice and early, getting another set of the hard tyres. Bottas, uh, it's reminiscent of the nightmare he had in Monaco a few years ago. 52 seconds and race ruined. The Scuderia get out ahead of Lando Norris, who was the threat there. And it's very close in the background. And is it going to be a position gained? Piastri dives to the inside claims the place off the road tires are cold Hamilton takes it by the time they get to turn number two and it's eighth position for the Mercedes driver 
this next little section were quite telling because he's quite close to George. Can he get away with turn 10 without any under rotation? Yes, oh. he can, but no, George Russell can't. George Russell off the road. Charles Leclerc will join him side by side, but with the inside line heading into turn 11 and all of that hard work, lap after lap after lap, pays off. The Ferrari is up to fourth place in the season opener Grand Prix, and Charles Leclerc finds a way by. The green Aston Martins on the main straight and that swap of position for the drivers, two-time world champion and driver who's won here before. The only driver in the field who was racing here in 2004 in the first Grand Prix in Bahrain that is still on the grid today and he's up to ninth. You keep driver swap, driver swap. Are you kidding me now? So Yuki doesn't love that idea. We're talking about working with the senior team. They've got to work with their own drivers at the moment. So Ricardo knows that... Oh, there it uh, is. Yeah, there we go. Opens the door, Ricardo goes through, Sonoda listening to the team instructions. Yeah, thanks guys, I appreciate it. Sonoda didn't love the team instruction and he's not being shy in reporting it. The Dutch driver continues his domination of Formula One. New year, but no new winner. Max Verstappen, still the driver to beat. Max Verstappen wins the season opener. He takes the Bahrain Grand Prix. And Max Verstappen is lighting up a trail once again. Red Bull expected, Red Bull delivered. And Perez comes across the line to make it a great day for Red Bull. They're one and two across the line chased home by Carlos Sainz, who put together a superb performance down at turn one with overtake after overtake. He'll be satisfied. And the celebrations are underway. It was always likely to be Red Bull, but that is a statement drive of 57 laps of not attack all the time. But when he did need to attack, Max Verstappen underlined in block caps again.